हेलो स्टूडेंट्स सो वी एट स्टार्टेड एक्सरसाइज फाइव डी कॉन्ट्राटिक इक्वेशन एक्सरसाइज फाइव डी एंड वी कंप्लीटेड क्वेश्चन नंबर वन आई डिड फोर फाइव सम्स फ्रॉम देयर द रिमेनिंग सम्स आई टोल्ड यू यू हैव टू डू इट बाय यूजिंग द फॉर्मूला द फॉर्मूला वाज फॉर एक्स द फॉर्मूला वॉज माइनस बी प्लस माइनस रूट बी स्क्वायर माइनस फोर ए सी अपॉन टू ए दिस इज द फॉर्मूला टू बी यूज वेन स्प्लिटिंग द मिडल टर्म इज नॉट पॉसिबल ओके आई स्टार्ट विथ क्वेश्चन नंबर टू all each of the following equations for x and give in each case your answer correct up to one decimal place we have to give the answer correct up to one decimal place means after the decimal point you should have one digit okay there are two questions uh method remains the same i'll do the second one the first one you do it on your own first one you do it for homework on your own first pay attention on the second one once you complete the second one pause the video and try the first one also okay the second question says 5x square plus 10x minus 3 now in this the value of a means the coefficient of x square is 5 the coefficient of x b is 10 and the last term c is minus 3 so once we know the value of a b and c i have told you first find b square minus 4ac what is b square minus 4ac b square minus 4 a c correct 4 a c So hundred minus minus will become plus four five is a twenty twenty into three sixty. So you will get this as one sixty. Once we have the value of b square minus four ac, now I'll use the big formula. you have to mention the formula every time so minus 10 plus minus root this b square minus 4ac is 160 upon 2 a is 5 so minus 10 plus minus this root 160 can be written as 16 into 10 upon 10 see i told you that uh, behind your textbook you will get values of square roots from 1 to 100 okay till 1 to 100 you will get the values of square root but this is 160 greater than 100 so first you reduce it write it 60 16 into 10 so this 16 will come out and become 4 so this will be minus 10 plus minus 4 root 10 upon 10 correct now the value of root 10 you have to see it behind in the textbook the value of root 10 whatever value you get will get multiplied with 4 so when you see behind you will get the value of root 10 is 3.16 and when you multiply 3.16 c into 
फोर सॉरी इट शुड बी फोर इंटू थ्री पॉइंट वन सिक्स इट शुड बी फोर इंटू थ्री पॉइंट वन सिक्स बिकॉज रूट टेन इज थ्री पॉइंट वन सिक्स प्लस माइनस दिस विल बिकम ट्वेल्व पॉइंट सिक्स अपॉन टेन यर ऑल्सो अपॉन टेन विल कम इन दिस स्टेप ऑल्सो नाउ देर इज प्लस माइनस साइन सो आई टेक वंस प्लस एंड वंस माइनस x equals minus ten plus twelve point six upon ten. Okay, see you can take twelve point six four also, more for more accuracy. Or x is minus ten minus twelve point six four upon ten. Now this will become two point six upon ten. और माइनस ट्वेंटी टू पॉइंट सिक्स फोर अपॉन टेन सो दिस इज जीरो पॉइंट टू सिक्स और माइनस टू पॉइंट टू सिक्स नीचे अगर टेन है तो वन पॉइंट विल गेट शिफ्टेड If there is ten year, so one point will get shifted on the left side. Now we want only one decimal place. Okay, we want only one decimal place. They have told in the question specifically. So there are two two numbers after decimal place. So round off twenty six will become zero point three, and minus two point two six two six will become three. Okay, so you need only one decimal place. So these are the two values of x. Understood? Now the question number three is also same. Exactly same. But just in this, you they have told you to take two decimal places. Okay, so I'll do one sum for you. See, all the sums are same. All five sums which are there in question number three are same. But for more and more practice, they have given you extra sums. There is no new concept or nothing different in those sums. All the sums are same. So I am doing one sum. from there you have to pause the video and try the other sums also okay in your class work this you must have all this all the sums done not only those which are done in videos all these remaining sums also must be there in your class work and in the homework also you have to do it again so i am doing one sum i am doing the second sum which has a fraction which looks a little difficult so 4x plus 6 upon x Plus thirteen equals zero. So I'll take LCM here. So this x will get multiplied with these two terms. Correct. This will become four x square plus six plus thirteen x upon x is zero. Now this x when go here, so zero into x, zero into x will be zero. So what will remain? Four x square plus thirteen x plus six. Equals zero. Now a is four, b is thirteen, and c is six. Correct. Once you have these values, we'll find b square minus four ac. Thirteen square minus four into four into six. Do this calculation. One sixty nine minus ninety six. Is 
73 i am getting the answer for this as 73 now i'll use the formula so in the place of b i'll put minus 13 plus minus this b square minus 4ac is 73 73 upon 2 into 4 this root 73 value you have to see behind your textbook okay so I told you in the previous video also that from 1 to 100 you have all the values in the textbook turn the pages pause the video turn the pages and see what is the value for root 73 you must have a habit of finding the values okay so find the value root 73 what is the value see see it yourself it should be 8.54 okay take at least two decimal places because in this question they they have told in the beginning itself that you have to take two decimal places upon it now because there is plus minus sign I'll split it so I'll get two values so x is minus 13 plus 8.54 upon 8 or minus 13 minus 8.54 upon 8 now make the subtraction when you subtract this you will get minus 4.46 upon 8 or 21.54 upon 8 and when we divide this Two point six nine and this zero point five five seven. Now, because this is zero point five five seven, I'll make it zero point five six correct up to two decimal places these are the values of x ok solve the sum all the other sums in question number 3 are exactly same we have to follow these same steps if the number year if the number year is greater than 100 first you reduce the number okay like for example if the number is 180 so what do you do you split this number you write it as 9 into 20 so this 9 3 will come out or you can also write it as 36 into 5 so 6 will come out split it in such a way that one square will come out okay and if you don't know how to split you can even do prime factorization like this so this 180 can be written as 290, 245, 315, 35 like this. So you will get pairs here which numbers will come out. Okay, so reduce this number if it is greater than 100. Now in question number 4. I'll do one more sum, one sum. This is also same, but they have told you are three decimal places. Okay. So I'll do the last sum, third one. A is two. B is eleven. C is four. So b square minus 4ac is 11 square 
माइनस फोर ए सी थर्टी टू सो यू विल गेट द वैल्यू एज एटी नाइन आई थिंक डू इज कैलकुलेशन सो एक्स इज माइनस बी प्लस माइनस रूट बी स्क्वायर माइनस फोर ए सी अपॉन टू ए सो वट इज बी बी इज इलेवन प्लस माइनस रूट बी स्क्वायर माइनस फोर ए सी इज एटी नाइन अपॉन टू ए टू ए मीन्स टू इन टू माइनस इलेवन प्लस माइनस नाउ अगेन स्क्वायर रूट ऑफ एटी नाइन लुक बिहाइंड टर्न द पेजेस कम टू द लास्ट पेज ऑफ द टेक्स्ट बुक लास्ट फ्यू पेजेस देर यू विल फाइंड स्क्वायर रूट ऑफ वन टू हंड्रेड इन दैट सी द वैल्यू ऑफ एटी नाइन एंड इन दिस सम वी वॉन्ट अप टू थ्री डेसीमल प्लेसेस सो मेक श्योर यू टेक द वैल्यू अप टू थ्री डेसीमल प्लेसेस सो द वैल्यू विल बी नाइन पॉइंट फोर थ्री थ्री अपॉन फोर नाउ स्प्लिट दिस सो एक्स इज माइनस इलेवन प्लस नाइन पॉइंट फोर थ्री थ्री और माइनस इलेवन माइनस नाइन पॉइंट फोर थ्री थ्री करेक्ट एंड नाउ डू द कैलकुलेशन प्रॉपरली बिकॉज देर आर थ्री थ्री डेसीमल प्लेसेस सो कैलकुलेशन में बिकम डिफिकल्ट so here they will get added minus minus will get added so minus twenty point four three three upon four when you divide this you will get five point one zero eight and this part nine point four three three Minus you have to subtract eleven, so you will get minus one point five six seven upon four. Upon four is minus zero point three nine one seven. If the last two digits. Are seventeen one seven so seventeen can become two. One seven will become two. If this number is greater than five, then you have to round off this last two digits. Or these are the values of x. क्वेश्चन नंबर फाइव नाउ इन दिस क्वेश्चन यू हैव एक्स फोर माइनस टू एक्स स्क्वायर माइनस थ्री सो वॉट विल बी द इजिएस्ट वे इन दिस टू डू इट टेक एक्स स्क्वायर एज ए ओके इफ एक्स स्क्वायर इज ए That means x four will be a square. Iska square kar do x square ka square. So this will become a square. X four is a square. So yahan pe this will become a square minus this x square will become a minus three equals zero. Now why I did this is because now the calculation will become easier. So now you have to. A is 
coefficient of first variable is 1 b is minus 2 and c is minus 3 so b square minus 4 ac equals b square minus 4 a c so 4 minus minus plus 4 3 is a 12 so this comes as 16 b square minus 4 ac value i am getting it as 16 I solve this using formula but if you observe the question this can be done directly also and in the question they have not mentioned that this is solve using formula it is only written in the question it is only written solve so you can even solve this sum directly okay I have started using the formula so I will complete it by the same method but you can use the direct splitting also here unless it is not mentioned na? you can use direct splitting so minus b is root 16 upon 2 into 1 a is 1 now this will become 2 plus minus 4 upon 2 so 2 plus 4 upon 2 2 minus 4 upon 2 so this will become 6 upon 2 and this is minus 2 upon 2 so 6 upon 2 is 3 and this is minus 1 We got the two values of a this variable here was a which we had taken in this equation the variable is a correct so ye jo value mili hai 3 or minus 1 ye ye equation ki thi answer means ye value hai a ki lekin a ko humne kya liya tha a was x square okay now see that's why confusion is that here is A hai aur ye bhi A hai. So what do Do one thing. Instead of taking A, take the variable as Y. X square ko Y le lena. So it would be better. Thoda confusion nahi hoga pe. Okay, even I'll take as Y to avoid confusion. So y is 3 or minus 2 but y is equal to x square we had taken this x square as y so I will resubstitute that correct resubstitute we are resubstituting it so here y is 3 so in the place of y I will write x square is equal to 3 and your second one y is minus 1 means x square is minus 1 now the square of any number cannot be minus 1 My, kisi ka square karne ke baad wo negative wo number negative nahi ho sakta wo positive ho jata hai so this minus 1 is wrong this cannot be solved further this cannot be solved further because kisi number ka square negative nahi ho sakta but here yes this can be done so x is root 3 plus minus we will take square root on both sides so this will become plus minus root 3 ok and you can substitute the values also therefore x is plus 1.732 or minus 1.732 oh, don't forget to do this part resubstitution because why don't liya do answer a gaya uske baad resubstitute agar nahi kiya to x ki value milegi hi nahi ok very substituting is very important
Now similarly in the next question also you take x square as y and x4 as y square and substitute the values you will get the answer for the second question also. See some sums you have to do it on your own. Next is question number 6. Now question number 6 is a little lengthy question. Now here this first bracket square plus 5 same bracket plus 4 so in these type of questions if you remember in factorization we used to substitute let x square minus x equals to y so in the place of x square minus x I will write y square plus 5y plus 4 equals 0 now I won't use the formula because this is easy to split it directly. I'll do the splitting directly because they have not mentioned in the question. If the question may mention karenge ki use formula. Formula word agar a gaya na, to aap samaj jana ki you have to do b square minus 4 is. But agar aise nahi likha hai, to you can do it directly also. So this will become y square 4 1s are 4. So plus 4y plus y plus 4 is equals to 0. Take y common. Take one common. Now y plus four, y plus four will come common. Equals zero. Now y plus four equals zero. So y is minus four or y is minus one. But we had substituted y what was the value of original value of y y is x square minus x okay don't do this step in this step only substitute the value of y so y is i'll write here re substituting y is x square minus x so in the place of y I will write x square minus x and here are you getting see in the place of y I had put x square minus x in the place of y x square minus x plus 1 equals 0 Now again we will do the splitting if possible. Splitting is not possible here. We want 4. So 4 can be written as 4 into 1 or 2 into 2. In both cases I won't get 1 here as the sum. So splitting is not possible here. Your product is 1, 1, 1 is 1. Splitting is not even possible here. So in both the cases, splitting is not possible. So what I'll do, I'll apply formula. So for this equation, I'll make a partition so that this equation I'm solving here and this one here. So here A is 1, B is minus 1, and C is 4. b square
I got b square minus 4 ac as minus 15. Here also I'll do it. So in both cases, see, we got the value of b square minus 4 ac as negative number. If you remember, we had done in the first exercise, second exercise, that if b square minus 4 ac is minus 15, that means you can, I write the statement here, common for both, right? Here, b square minus 4 ac is less than 0, correct? Therefore, the equation has the equation has imaginary roots okay no real roots imaginary means no real roots so basically in this question there is no solution because b square minus 4 ac here is negative and here is negative if they come negative then we cannot solve the question we cannot apply the formula and solve it so the solution answer is not available understood this was the first sum of exercise 6 Next, the next question has proper solutions. The method remains the same. This is the question x square minus 3x. So, what we will do? Let x square minus 3x b y so this will become y square minus 16y minus 36 now is splitting term possible i want 36 36 means 18 into 2 and i want minus 16 so it is possible minus 18 into plus 2. I will get these values. Splitting is done here. And then take common This is the second sum of question number 6. Now once we have this, so y minus 18 and y plus 2 equals 0. Now what was y? y was x square minus 3x. So let's substitute this. Now, I will try splitting the middle term if it's possible. So, I want 18. 18 means 6 into 3. 6 3 is 18 and 6 minus 3 is 3. So, this is right. 
I'll take the factors as minus 6x plus 3x minus 18. Here I want 2. Mm, 2 ones are 2. Okay, I'll take minus 1 minus 2. Take common here. I'm solving, I'm doing normal factorization. Everything is equals to zero. So now each and every value, you can get the values of each and every term. So x minus six equals zero. So x is six x plus 3 is equals to 0 x is minus 3 x minus 2 is equals to 0 x is 2 x minus 1 is equals to 0 x is 1 okay so these are the four values of x okay or you can stop here also in this part no need to write this Okay, I hope you have understood this substitution type sums in quadratic equation. Now, solve practice from question number 1 to 6. All questions in them. Okay, in the next video, I'll teach you question number 7. In fact, question number 8 to 10, 8 to 11 are also the same which we did now. Same middle term splitting only. So first you do 1 to 6, 7th one I'll teach you next time and 8 to 11 also you can try once you finished 1 to 6 for extra practice. Okay, that's it for today. Thank you.